Many of you would know that dim sum is usually non-halal, and even if it is, it usually is not very nice. But boy were we in for a treat when we paid a visit to Shangri-La KL. We were definitely not prepared for such luxury and tastes. Situated on the first floor of this amazing facility is Shang Palace, arguably one of the best halal dim sum in KL. At just RM88 per head for a dim sum buffet, this is definitely a place you do not want to miss. Thank you! Hey guys, so welcome to Shang Palace and today we are with Wayne, Jeremy, Sam, Sam right? And then with Jinghua. Okay, so Jinghua is a, an expert of dim sum, so let's oh, ask, expert. Wow. Let's ask Jinghua what's the required dish to order. Well, when it comes to dim sum, you have to go for siu mai. Okay. And ha kao. And ha kao. It's like the OG thing. So if you don't go for these two, you're not eating dim sum. Original. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, by the way guys, we have our own special private room like... So we can make all the noise we want and the reason for that is because we have Wayne here. Wayne is a Diamond Shangri-La member. Okay, so normally dim sum is fully non-halal yeah, and that's obvious because this one is actually siu pao it's and it's supposed noise. to be pork. But this one is halal so they use chicken instead. Uh, so yeah, you guys, all of you can eat here as long as you're not vegan, right? Uh, <laughs> if you're vegan, you can have this without egg probably. Uh, this is stir-fried radish cake. Yeah. And then this is my favorite, this is egg tart. And the egg tarts here is different because it's Hong Kong style egg tarts. It's different than the Lisbon egg tart. So time to eat up! Guys, this is what? Jinghua, explain what is this? What is it? Red? Yeah, it's made of brown rice. Okay. So normally it's white. This dish is called chi chong pan. Okay. So it's uh, made of, uh, the wrapping's made of rice and then there you put some sort of meat in there. And mm -hmm. this one has prawn. Ah. It's healthy as well, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so Jeremy, which one is your favorite? Which one is my favorite? Which one is not my favorite? <laughs> Okay, this is the most important dim sum. This is siu mai, and then this is the second most important dim sum. This is hakao. Siu mai is a combination of shrimp and meat. Uh, same thing for hakao, but hakao only contains shrimp. Hakao is a quiet flavor. Siu mai, generally everybody likes it. Let's go for it. It's okay. It's meant okay. to be that way. See that? Oh. Yeah. Uh, so what is this? Custard bun. It's a uh, egg sweet as well. It's really really nice. But you have to be careful when you eat it. Make sure it doesn't come out. So you have to hold it like this. Then... See, it's like gooey inside, right? Yeah. Mmm. See that? Yeah. Just be careful when you eat it because sometimes it's very hot inside. And sometimes you might make a mess like what I did just now. All the custard just flew out. I think I can do three. Excellent choice. Oh. <laughs> so Jeremy, how was the halal dim sum? Like dim sum without pork, is it so much different? There are some differences, mm. but I would say that overall it's still very good. Few places I've been, halal food, halal Chinese food, they're awesome. They're really awesome. Thank you. Ta -ta -ta -ta, we finished all the food! Uh, guys, so that's it for this really short food review. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike the video, give it a thumbs down. And as always, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget, forget us. And don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> All right, it's okay. Thank you. Subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> Hey guys, so in case you didn't catch our community post about a few days ago, uh, myself and Amalia, we're gonna move to another country. And currently we're staying in this really cool place. Uh, maybe we'll show you around and yeah, let you check this place out in the next video. So stay tuned for that. And again, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like the video.